Foreign students of a failed business school are still in the dark over who will mark their final assessments and give them their diplomas. The Kiwi Institute of Training and Education, or KITE, is one of at least six private training establishments to be deregistered by NZQA in the last two years. Now, last week, students were locked out of the building with staff not responding to calls or emails as KITE went into liquidation. NZQA took action against Kite last year for substandard marking, but gave it the green light again before this year's financial failure. It says a third party will now mark the final assessments, and those who fail will have to move on to yet another institute. But it's not clear who the third party is, who will award the diplomas, and when. Meanwhile, the students say they are out of pocket, and were told in a meeting on Monday by Immigration New Zealand that they must pay $310 for a visa extension if they want to stay in the country. I spoke to NZQA Deputy Chief Executive Quality Assurance, Eve McMahon, who explained that students will be reimbursed if they are out of pocket. In New Zealand, we have an export education levy which can be used to both reimburse students for their fees but also some other costs that relate to... um, Sorting out as in a situ- sorting out their situations in this instance. So it's unlikely that they'll have to pay again. They'll get their assessment. They'll know where they stand, and they won't have to pay again at this point. That's correct. Okay. I noticed in some of the material that you've given to the students, you've said NZQA has said there will be some gaps in this process. What does that mean? Could you please clarify that? I'm I'm not quite sure um, what you're referring to. In the handout given to the students that explained that their uh, assignments had been collected by NZQA, the, the flyer given to the students states that there will be some gaps in the process. So I'm wondering what that means. The only uh, the only kind of gaps I could imagine will that it w- will take time to complete the marking, and that we need to have all of the assessments available to us to be marked. Do you have all the Do you have all the assessments, as far as you know? To the best of my knowledge, we do. And how long do you think this process is going to take? I'm not able to give you a clear time frame on the time it will take. That will depend on the the organisation that is completing the work for the kite students, but it is underway. And who we is... could um, endeavour to find out how long that is likely to take and come back to you. Obviously, it's a very... We uncertain... do understand that... Yes, we do understand it's a very difficult time for students and we are providing as much information as we can as quickly as possible. So who is the third party who is marking these assessments? I'm not able to divulge that information. Why not? The contra- there is a contractual relationship and, and they, it hasn't been discussed with them. As in you have not had a discussion with them? The, this organisation was originally contracted by KITE to complete the verification of the marking. The relationship was between KITE and that organisation. Surely the students have a right to know um, who is deciding their fates in essence. Do they have the right to that information? Whether the, do the students have the right to know who is... Um, doing the work on their behalf. Yeah, who is marking their, who is marking their assessments? It, it's commercially in confidence, so um, we don't give that information out here. When did you first know that there was an issue with KITE? We first identified issues during 2018 when we undertook uh, some monitoring of their business programmes. What issues? There are issues with their assessment practices in the Level 5 and 6 business programmes. So what did you find that concerned you? We we were concerned that the assessments were not being marked in, to the level and uh, quality that they should have been. OK, so what did you do as a consequence of that? 
So we issued a statutory condition against Kite in October of last year, and then we worked with Kite to improve their assessment practices in order for the students to work with the students enrolled at the time so that they could complete. Students are asking, you know, you are quality control for these organisations, whether you are doing enough quality control. Are you? So NZQA has a strong, uh, sorry, New Zealand has a strong reputation for delivering quality education, protecting the interests of New Zealand and international students. Sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt, Ms McMahon. Were you just shuffling through to find the, the relevant section in your answers page there? I don't think that's a relevant question to be asking. I do. Were you just shuffling through some pre-prepared answers there to find the relevant answer to the question I just asked you? No. This has been going on for some time with these schools, these PTEs. How many others are substandard or about to, you know, fall off the edge? There is a very small proportion of education organisations in New Zealand with which we are concerned. How big is small? Can you give us a number? No, I can't give you a number at this moment. Why not? I don't have it on the top of my head. Right, so it's not that you won't give it to us, you just don't know what that number is right now. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the number is right now, no. Okay, so... Is it time to do something more about this, an, an overall general audit, a shutdown or something else? If there is a group of them there that you have concerns about, and we know track record-wise a number of these organisations have gone out of business or gone, out of bu- uh, uh, you know, gone bust, if you want to maintain the reputation of New Zealand, what more do you need to do in terms of policing these organisations? So our, our role is to ensure that quality education is delivered to students. We quality assure systems and processes that providers have in place to be confident that they can deliver a good quality education to students. We monitor and part of our quality assurance processes is to identify when there are concerns and when we do that we work with providers to improve their practices where we can. So, is there any room for improvement at your end? I'm sure there's always room for improvement with quality assurance. And that's Eve McMahon from NZQA.